What is going on guys? We are heading out to a pond that is new. I've never fished here. Seems like an awesome guy. He DM'd me on Instagram. He said his pond is two and a half acres, which is a very big pond. I got my boy Christian with me today. We're about to go try to break this pond down for y'all. I'm going to show y'all how I find fish in a bigger body of water. We're going to set a goal for four fish. How many think you want to fish? Four? Four fish. Right, we're going to do eight fish. I'm going to catch one over two pounds. That's a good little number. We'll put that fish in the scale to make sure it's accurate, guys. I hope y'all enjoy this video. I'm going to bring y'all along with me on my journey. I hope y'all stay tuned. Thank you. All right, guys, we just came down here. Look at this pond. There's sticks, logs, stumps, grass. It is literally a heaven right now. I'm gonna start throwing off my little KVD swim bait. I'm gonna chuck this thing around, see if there's any active fish around here. Our goal is eight fish total. I want one over two pounds and I want four fish. Yeah, I brought, I brought my scale. We're gonna see what we can do, guys. I'm gonna start casting here in a second. I just had one. I was in a tree. It was taking my line. All right, guys, putting down the swim bait. Better pick up spinner bait. This water is kind of murky. It's not as bad as I've seen, though. We're going to see if this spinner bait put some flash in that water. See if they'll hit this a little bit more aggressive. All right, guys, couldn't get bit there. So we're going to have to troop through these woods. It is very, very thick. Y'all can see what we got to walk through. But we're gonna do it, we're gonna go find these fish. I'll see y'all when we get to an opening. The only problem is guys, that the water level is extremely high right now. So we're having to go off course, not even near the pond anymore, to get around to the new spot. And this stuff is thick. This is the first little opening we've had. All right guys, we have walked to the road now. We walked all the way through these woods, found the pond, water level's too high, had a walk out, backtrack. We've been walking for how long, dude? Probably. 45 minutes to an hour. We found the road. We're about to walk the road, try to get to this open bank. But guys, it has been a struggle. We're not giving up. All right, guys, we made it to the road. Pond's right there. All we have to do is walk through this field to get to it. But there's got to be a fence right there, and it is electric. Christian just found that out. So now we're just going to walk this until it ends and try to cut through and get to the pond. What is going on, guys? Today has been a very stressful day. We did all of that work to try to fish that pond. It just didn't work out, but our hopes are not going down. Now we know what to bring for next time. We met some awesome guys. They gave us permission to go out there. I'm not going to say their names. They watch my channel. They really support me. And a lot's going to come in the future with those guys. They're awesome, and I just want to say thank you. I know they're watching this for letting me come out there. They're just awesome guys. But we're going to make this video into two once again. We're about to fish this pond right here. Catch a couple fish. Show y'all some new techniques that I throw when I'm fishing grassy ponds. Hope y'all stay tuned and enjoy this video. All right, guys. I'm starting off with a little 5-inch Senko. I modified it a little bit to where I always cut grooves in my tail. You'd be shocked how much more action this little Senko can do for you. Pretty hot out here. We had overcast conditions, but those kind of went away. And now the sun's peeking out. I'm thinking these fish are going to be sitting a little bit deeper. So I'm going to start fishing off this point over here. We're going to see if we can stick a couple. All right, guys. I'm going to start. I'm actually going to cast to the side of me first. I want to see if there's any sitting in this tree. There. Oh, like that one was. <laughs> what? <laughs> guys, that fish was literally sitting right there. It's not a bad one either. Yes, sir. We'll take that. Choked it too. Literally first cast, guys, that fish was sitting right in that tree. And don't think that this pond is money because that never happens. <laughs> that fish was literally sitting right there. That cast was just on point. It literally hit the water and that dude was just, he just came up. I saw it. I saw it. I was like, I didn't even know what to say when I set the hook. I'm like, I don't have a fish on right now. All right, well, let's mimic that. Let's go right back out there. And that's a tree. Look at me, I got cocky and I regret it. I would jump on the pattern that they're sitting on the banks holding tight to cover, but that's the only little stick in this pond. So the only other option is just to keep on fishing the bank, but let's just hoping that they're gonna hold just to the grass on the bank, not, not just that one little stick. So now we're just gonna try to sight spot some of these guys. If y'all are new to fishing, don't know what that is. That is pretty much when you walk the banks. You don't have to use glasses, you can just look, but it, it helps a lot, guys, if you can see that black tail. Right now we're just gonna cruise the bank and you're just gonna look for bass that are up shallow, but the whole key thing is to do is just make sure you have your flip ready. As soon as that fish sees you, it's gonna take off back to the middle. Or just back off the bank a little bit. You want to see him before he sees you. Dropping that bait right on that fish's face is key too. You want that reaction by 100%. Okay, I got one in front of me. It looks like this fish is on a bed. Uh, 
There she is. There she came. I don't know if that's the fish on it better or not. She's just cruising back and forth, but it's a mystery fish. But she bit and there she came. It's a pretty little guy. Thank you. There's one. Yes, sir. All right, guys, what I just did there, it's a pretty cool tactic of how to get fish to bite from the deep. There's a fish, by the way. It's a little guy. Thank you, bud. So I'm doing right now, guys, I know these fish are sitting out in the middle, and a Senko is a very, very, very slow-moving bait. So what I do is I'm going to cast out there, and those fish will chase your bait from the middle. They might not hit it out there, but they will chase it in. They're waiting for that bait to sit still. So what I'll do is I'll cast out there. I'll let it sink back down. I'll reel it in at a decent amount of speed and then drop it again. You just keep on repeating that rhythm and that fish came up and hit it at the bank. I just bit it, guys. You uh, still got it. Not a bad one. Get up here, bud. There we go, guys, on that stop and go method. I'm telling you guys it works. Gotta try it out. Thank you, buddy. All right, guys, we're ending this video now. I hope y'all enjoyed it like always. That technique, the stop and go, guys, that is one of my favorites. It works pretty much every single time. Those fish are out there in the middle. They're super aggressive, just waiting for something to swim right in front of their face. They, they'll they kill a Senko, Trick Room, anything y'all throw. I highly recommend it just to get out there, go cast into the middle, and watch that bait work all the way in. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching.